My name is Jacqueline. I'm the manager of conservation partnerships and program here at Shedd Aquarium. One of the biggest threats to our rivers, lakes, and oceans today is plastic pollution. We find a lot of single-use plastics in the water, and this is a big threat to animals. They can accidentally become entangled in it. They can swallow it or eat it. And if an animal eats plastic, it can make their stomach feel full. So they actually stop eating and they can starve to death that way. So single-use plastics are things like soda bottles, water bottles, plastic packaging, things that are only used one time and then tossed out. But when we throw it away, where does it go? It ends up in a landfill or it may end up in the environment or in the water, lakes, rivers. Um, and those single-use plastics can be a detriment to animals. Since plastic never actually biodegrades, it remains in the environment for hundreds of years as toxic microparticles and can be consumed by animals at all levels of the food web. A recent study looked at 25 Great Lakes fish species to see if there were plastics in their system, and all 25 of those species did have plastics. Single-use plastics are not a new threat to healthy water. We are using single-use plastics increasingly more and more in our day-to-day -day lives. Global plastic production has increased by 620% since 1975, and much of that is for single-use products. An important thing that we can do is practice the four R's. That's reduce, reuse, recycle, and refuse. You can actually turn down single-use plastics. As consumers, we have a lot of power. You know, we can bring reusable materials to use in our daily lives. We can bring reusable bags and water bottles, and we can really show companies what's important to us. You can be part of it. You can be part of the solution and help to improve this situation. So about 80% of plastic that ends up in water, whether it's in the rivers, lakes, or oceans, comes from the land and is carried into our water systems and can really accumulate there. And so in the oceans, we can end up with these huge masses of, of plastics. The most well-known is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is thought to be even larger than the state of Texas. However, it's difficult to estimate the size since it's a huge area and the marine debris is constantly moving with ocean currents. This is also why it's so challenging to remove the pieces of garbage from the ocean. Plastic pollution can be a bummer for both people and for animals. If you see a plastic water bottle floating next to you as you're enjoying a swim at the lake, it can definitely impact your experience and it can also be dangerous. Uh, we also do beach cleanups here around the Chicago area and 85% of the litter that we pick up is plastic. The Shed has done a lot to reduce our use of single-use plastic right here for our visitors and for our staff. We no longer offer straws, um, and that's in part because about 500 million straws are used here in America every day. Uh, we also have eliminated plastic lids and plastic bags in our cafe and our gift shop. We also are doing more and more recycling and more composting. We're really trying to keep as much waste as possible away from the landfill. One little change can have a big impact for animals and the waterways that you love. Shed single-use plastics and take a big step toward a cleaner world.